May 7th, 2020. Drop here. Apply for the Paycheck Protection Program. Who can apply? The following entities affected by the coronavirus may be eligible. Any small business concern that meets SBA's sta size standard, either the industry-based standard or the alternative size standard. Any business, 501c3, nonprofit organization, 501c19, veterans organization, or tribal business concern, section 31b2c of the Small Business Act, with the great, with the great, with the greater of 500 employees, or that meets the SBA industry size standard if more than 500. Any business with a NAICS code that begins with 72 that has more than one physical location and employs less than 500 people per location. That could be a meat packing plant, right? Or a restaurant. The next one is sole proprietors, independent contractors, and self-employed persons. I fall into this one. Now be aware that you're not just getting some money. You're getting you're you're applying for a loan. Loan details and forgiveness. The loan will be fully forgiven if the funds are used for payroll cost, interest on mortgages, rent, and utilities. Due to the likely high subscription, at least 75% of the forgiven amount must have been used for payroll. Loan payments will also be deferred for six months. No collateral or personal guarantees are required. That means no credit check. Neither the government nor lenders will charge small businesses any fees. Forgiveness is based upon the employer maintaining or quickly rehiring employees and maintaining salary levels. Forgiveness will be reduced if full-time headcount declines or if salaries and wages decrease. This loan has a maturity of two years and an interest rate of 1%. Now, if you wish to prepare, begin preparing for your application, you can download the copy of the PPP borrow application to see the information that we required that will be requested from you when you apply with the lender. Okay, so then you have to go ahead and go, okay, wow. Okay, so now I've got to go um, just put in my zip code and then it'll kick out a bunch of lenders. So, uh, what's a good old, let's try this one. I can't remember. I don't usually go to this part of Spokane, but we'll check it out. Okay, so Chase Bank, U.S. Bank, Washington Trust. Oh, there's probably Banner Bank, and there's Federal Credit Unions, and Wells Fargo, and you get the idea. So you got to apply at these places for this loan, okay? Keep in mind, it's a loan, and if you misuse it, you will have to pay it back. But 1% interest is pretty damn good. <laughs> and this is what the application looks like. Paycheck Protection Program. The borrow application form. So you're not getting any free money unless you use it properly. It'll be forgiven over two years. So it asks you a bunch of questions. And I'm going to leave this form down below in the description box. And I would appreciate it if you would hit a thumbs up, ring the bell, and hit the subscribe button. Tell all your friends about this, uh, where you found this information. Point them to you. So, this is the application form that you would fill out at the bank. This is where you would sign it. This is where you would, uh, the authorized representative of Africa must certify in good faith to all the following below and initial to next to each one. So, if you get over here and you start initialing, and you don't, this is none of this is true or you you don't do that you could potentially commit fraud and go to jail be very careful when you apply for any government type of funding especially loans they can come to bite you back in the ass real quick if you don't use them right and if you they decide you didn't use it right they could really screw you to the wall okay so you can be a soap barter or a self-employed person like me, you can either use your your uh, EIN number, which is for uh, business, or your private social security number, your business phone, primary contact, email address. 
how much you pay yourself. If you just if you just paid yourself, say, uh, oh well, you know, eight thousand dollars a month. There you go. All right. You can see you can fill this form in online, so you can actually, if you wanted to, you could have it already for your bank. Just hand it, hand it to them. So you would just basically say eligible, self-employed, right there, see? And you put in your phone, business legal name would be the same if you were sole proprietorship or a uh, doing business as a D DBA, or an LLC, whatever your business name is. <clears throat> So there's where you can apply if you if you are self-employed or a a contractor, okay, self-employed independent contractor, and and you lost all your income because of the shutdown, you can go here and apply for a loan to pay you the money that you would have made this month, um, and and get this loan. And if you pay yourself or you pay your employees, if you're an independent contractor and you actually like in construction and it's all shut down, you've got a bunch of people that you hire for your, you know, as an independent contractor, uh, whatever, you add that to the payroll, as long as you're using it properly for what's here. So if you say payroll, you better have 75% of that money going to the payroll, okay? Or if you're saying you're using it for utilities, you better have some of it going to utilities or lease mortgages. Or it could be other. I don't know what you would use for other, but people's situations are applicable. So, this is where you would apply if you're in trouble. Instead of waiting for your $1,200 of chump change and $500 per child if you're making under $99,000 a year, or between seventy-eight to $99,000, you'll get reduced payments. Um, this is where you would go to file for this loan from the COVID-19 legislation that was passed uh, on top of the $1,200 that you're going to get, whatever, whatever you're going to get for you and your spouse and your kids and everything else. So if you lost your job and you can't work, this is your, this is your one shot to keep your income up and keep it going. Uh, but just, just remember, the government... Is somebody I don't like too well because they will bite you in the ass any chance they get, and there I'm sure there's gonna they're gonna find a way to screw people over on this. But if you need the money now, this is a pretty good option if you fall into this category. You've been warned.